So if you're somehow not aware of this whole situation, popular conspiracy YouTuber Illuminati just got exposed for being an all-around shitty person. She has made countless baseless claims and failed to provide any substantial evidence to back up her claims. She has also failed to provide important context to her claims as well. She will also manipulate the situation to fit her narrative and weaponize her audience to keep her name clean. I also want to say I never really enjoyed her content, it comes across as very one-sided and biased. It doesn't seem very well-rounded at all, but that's not the point. This won't be brief, and there's a lot to get through, so please just bear with me. This all started on Twitter, go figure, where Blair, aka Illuminati, called out Legal Eagle on quote, plagiarizing her videos when all Legal Eagle's editors did was use a ripped paper effect and highlighted text. She literally pulled a fine bros and tried to claim an editing style as her own. Legal Eagle, however, was extremely mature throughout this whole thing. He responded saying no one on his team is trying to copy her and that it's just a big misunderstanding. He also added that those two quote styles are common on YouTube and that they've been using that format for three to four years. Apparently, Legal Eagle's editor wanted to reach out to Blair's editors and find out what plugin was used in a specific video. Now, why she decided to go after a lawyer and claim he was plagiarizing her is beyond me. Twitter being Twitter, though, didn't like it too much and uncovered some stuff about Blair proving that she is a hypocrite when it came to the plagiarism claims. She copied a documentary beat for beat in her anti-vax video. Professor Hugh Fudenberg. Professor Fudenberg has long been controversial. A man named Hugh Fudenberg, a former immunologist who has been long controversial. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit involving the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic child patients with blood products. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit with the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic patients with blood products. Then in 1995, he was suspended from practicing medicine and made to pay a $10,000 fine for his misuse and misprescribing of controlled drugs. Then in 1995, he was suspended from practicing medicine and made to pay a $10,000 fine for his misuse of prescribing controlled drugs. Now, if it was just this and she apologized, which she did do in Legal Eagle's DMs, it would have been fine by now and she could have kept making videos, right? Wrong. So wrong, in fact, she decided to slander some people who used to be close to her. I'm of course referring to The Click and Wonderstruck. Let's start with The Click. Blair and The Click, along with a few other people, I think, had a channel together called Sad Milk. And The Click left Sad Milk because he noticed some toxic behavior from Blair. After this whole debacle went down, she made a 42-minute apology video, and while the apology portion was accepted pretty well, she also started attacking other people, including The Click. She says that his Discord mods weren't doing their job and blamed the click for them not doing their job. You see, a pedophile joined the Discord server and admitted to grooming a 12-year-old. This person has since been banned, by the way. Apparently, one of his mods also sent suggestive photos to people. However, the click didn't even know this was all happening. Blair blames the click for nothing being done in the server, yet this happened around 2 a.m. in his time zone. The man was fucking asleep. You can't blame him for something that he had no knowledge of. She didn't even give him the benefit of the doubt either. She was just like, this wasn't taken care of immediately? Well, he must be a pedo supporter, which just blew my fucking mind. Like, she didn't even try. She has also apparently spread multiple rumors through other people instead of herself, which I find really petty. Like, this isn't high school anymore, grow the fuck up. She has also made multiple accounts to spam hate and even paid someone to dig up dirt on the click because he said a no-no word that he probably could have gotten away with saying when he said it at the time, which was probably like 8 years ago or something like that. He also showcases some screenshots that shows her being a huge manipulator. I won't go through everything, obviously, the click made a video on it and it covers everything regarding his side of things, so I will leave a link down below to his video if you're interested in hearing the whole story. But keep in mind, Blair never brings up important context, such as the click being asleep during the whole pedophile discord situation. Another person who was involved with the Sad Milk channel was Wonderstruck YT. Wonderstruck has also made a video regarding his side of things. He has came out and said that Blair has worked him to the bone, openly talked about where he lived, and even became his landlord, some fucking how. She has also apparently drove to Wonderstruck's father's house and stole his car back with all of his stuff in it, which he never got back by the way. 
Apparently, he went into her room where he wasn't allowed, and another friend, Ozmedia, took photos of all the clutter in their living area and never bothered to clean it up. Yeah, she put an employee of hers through unhealthy living conditions. She has also reportedly threw away his play button? His silver 100,000 subscriber plaque? I don't use this term lightly, but what the fuck is wrong with this bitch, bro? But don't worry, Wonderstruck uploaded an hour and a half response video to Blair. Now, while I haven't seen this video in full, the motherfucking boys, CB2 and Nuke God, did full recaps of the video. Shout out to them both, I'll leave links to their channels down below. Anyways, Wonderstruck addressed that he initially couldn't provide receipts even though they were there and he does show them. He continues to address the car situation and that he wishes to keep it private, which I fully understand. He also goes after Blair for weaponizing his mental health against him, as he fucking should, and I'm glad he did. He also touches on the pedo allegations against the clique, which I already went over. He also explains his time with Sad Milk and that he only ever edited 3-5 to five videos because the other editors weren't meeting the editing standard for the channel. There is a lot more to this, but I can't go over everything for obvious reasons. Ozmedia even shared his side of things, so if you're interested in that as well, I will leave a link down in the description. And if that isn't enough, One Topic at a Time also made a video on the whole situation. To summarize it, he said that he was frankly tired of being bullied around, there apparently wasn't any issues regarding payment for sad milk, he defends the click and the whole Discord situation, even sharing his own parting message. Apparently, Blair also ghosted him and even spun more rumors to manipulate the story to fit her narrative after he posted this in the Discord. He goes on to defend Wonder for Blair weaponizing his mental health, her alt accounts, and the damage she intended to cause between Wonderstruck and Click's friendship, his finances with Blair, and even believes that Blair's video should be taken down for spreading false information. He covers a lot more too, but there's just so much to get into, so if you want to watch that as well for full context, I will leave a link for that down in the description below as well. Now after all of this went down, Blair's channel is obviously suffering. She started losing viewership, subscribers, the whole nine yards. And what makes it even worse during this whole situation, she was uploading like nothing even happened. Now she has issued a statement saying she is working on a video about it, which I fully expect to be the final nail in the coffin for her. One of her sponsors, HelloFresh, also said they dropped her and they're not working with her again. It's awfully bold for her to claim that these are all false allegations when she literally accused someone she considered a friend of being a pedo supporter or even a pedo himself with no evidence to back it up. It's not just him too, it's other people as stated. She even went as far as to send Wonderstruck a cease and desist for simply speaking out against her. It's funny how she says people are trying to silence her, yet she's trying to silence someone else for simply speaking out about how bad she really is. Now notice I'm not saying to take any of this with a grain of salt because if you look at the mountains of evidence provided against her and how she has done nothing, it's kind of evident that this might all be true. She has done nothing but ignore, weaponize, and manipulate her way through this entire drama. She's a compulsive liar, an abusive boss, and a general psychopath that should not be trusted. Like I said earlier, I never really cared for her content, but I never really took her to be a bad person, until now. So I'm glad this is all coming to light and we now see who Blair really is. I might make a follow up when she inevitably does release her video responding to it or key points, but I'm not entirely sure yet. It's hard for me to even believe this is still ongoing a month later. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Much love and I will see you guys in the next video.